Fear is a powerful force in the world. It's like a weapon used by evil forces against God's children. In the book of Isaiah, it was predicted that fear would affect everyone on earth. It was said that those who try to escape fear would fall into despair, and those who manage to get out of despair would be trapped in more troubles. This prophecy seems to describe our time well. Before we begin, I would appreciate if you would like the video so that you can help me to continue spreading our channel if you are not subscribed, I recommend you to subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any video. Let's start. Many people today live in fear, feeling trapped and troubled like never before. Fear is not the opposite of love, it's the opposite of faith. The enemy is using fear to attack our minds. As mentioned in the book of Daniel, your current battle is in your mind, filled with fear and what ifs. The floods of fear rise like noisy waves, causing trouble and confusion. When you feel like you're drowning in fear, remember that the Lord is your strength and protector. He's like a warrior who puts on his armor and takes up his sword for battle. He reigns over the floods of fear, and his strength is greater than any challenges you face. To overcome fear as a Christian, you need a clear vision that your Lord and Savior is standing with you, ready to defend you. He's mightier than the waves of fear and more powerful than your troubles. Focus on him and trust that he will deliver you. You can't fight the devil or conquer your sins on your own. You must believe in the mighty God who promises to keep you from falling and present you faultless with joy. Don't be afraid. God is your strength and salvation. In the face of fear and the challenges it brings, it's crucial to cling to your faith and trust in God's promises. Understand that fear is a tool the enemy uses to weaken your resolve, but you have a powerful ally in God. Here are some essential steps to help you navigate through times of fear. 1. Faith Over fear. Remember that faith and fear cannot coexist. When fear tries to take hold of your mind, counteract it with faith. Remind yourself of God's promises and His unwavering love for you. Trust that He is always by your side. 2. Immerse yourself in God's Word. The Bible is a source of comfort and guidance during fearful times. Dive into Scripture regularly to find verses that speak to your situation and provide assurance. Memorizing and meditating on these verses can strengthen your faith. 3. Prayer and Worship. Engage in prayer and worship as a means to connect with God. Pour out your fears and concerns to Him, knowing that He listens and cares. Worship allows you to focus on His greatness and power. 4. Community. Seek support from fellow believers. Share your fears and concerns with trusted friends or members of your church. They can offer encouragement, prayers, and sometimes practical assistance. 5. Replace negative thoughts. When fear fills your mind with negative thoughts and scenarios, Intentionally replace them with positive, faith-filled affirmations. This mental discipline can help you regain control over your thoughts. 6. Stay informed, but don't obsess. While it's important to stay informed about the world's events, avoid obsessing over negative news. Limit your exposure to sources that only fuel fear and anxiety. 7. Practice gratitude. Cultivate a heart of gratitude. Count your blessings and acknowledge the good things in your life. Gratitude can help shift your focus away from fear and toward positivity. 8. Seek professional help if needed. If fear and anxiety are severely affecting your daily life, consider seeking professional help from a counselor or therapist. They can provide strategies and support to manage your fears effectively. 9. Serve others. Sometimes helping others in need can alleviate your own fears. Acts of kindness and service not only benefit those you assist, but also bring a sense of fulfillment and purpose to your life. 10. Remember God's promises. God has promised to be with you always, to never forsake you, and to provide you with peace that surpasses understanding. Hold on to these promises with unwavering trust. In times of fear, turn to God, strengthen your faith, and remember that you are not alone in your struggles. With God as your fortress and support, you can face fear head-on and emerge stronger, filled with hope and courage. Don't be afraid. 
I'm 69 years old, and every time fear comes your way, remember Psalm 93. Read it over and over until it comforts you. It might surprise you, but one of the most common messages from God's Word is, don't be afraid. When God calls people like Abram, Moses, Elijah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel for important tasks, he tells them not to be afraid. Even when Jehoshaphat and others faced war, God sent them messages of courage. Nehemiah, leading the Israelites, was told not to fear. In the book of Deuteronomy, God repeatedly instructs the Israelites not to fear as they prepare for the promised land. When Joshua took on leadership, God reminded him not to fear. When the angel visited Zacharias, Joseph, and Mary to announce the birth of Jesus and John the Baptist, they were told not to be afraid. When Jesus walked on water during a storm, he reassured his disciples, saying, Don't be afraid. After his resurrection, N, the angels told the women at the tomb not to fear. And when Jesus appeared to his disciples after his resurrection, he again said, Don't be afraid. Even when Paul converted to Christianity on the road to Damascus, Ananias was told not to be afraid. And when Paul was about to speak to the church at Corinth, the Holy Spirit comforted him with the same message, don't be afraid. So when life overwhelms you with fear, remember Psalm 27, the Lord is my light and salvation, whom shall I fear? Even when enemies surround you, have confidence in the Lord's protection. When you're uncertain about the future, Trust that God will hide you in times of trouble. Even if you doubt these words, there's a deep conviction within you that these truths are real. Scripture reminds us that God hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So raise your hands and thank God for His presence, ready to deliver you from all your fears. If you've lost your peace and your soul is troubled, Jesus is here to bring you peace. Lift your eyes to the hills, and your help will come from the Lord. He watches over you day and night, preserving you from all harm. Trust in Him, for He will keep you in His grace. Remember, God's Spirit is not one of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Even if you have doubts, there's a conviction within you that these truths are real and powerful. So don't be afraid. Have faith in God's promises. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.